Welcome back to our small video series. My name is Jörg Stahlmann, co-founder and managing director of Consensus. I talked a lot about data quality during the last videos. This time, I want to propose a basic scheme we use for understanding and optimization of data quality by means of needed quality. These are the examples we showed during the last videos. During description, I explained that several details can be read from the one single data source. Since you need to be really sure about data quality before you make conclusions like we did, you have to make your homework by means of understanding what the data contain. Within Consensus, we use a simple graph in order to understand quality situation internally and communicate with our customers and partners. Since we are talking about quality, one axis is, you will guess, quality. You see that we use a rather rough idea of description here. Imagine 100% as the physical truth where all information is contained and 0% as some snippets of data which simply can't be used. The second axis is the measurement chain. Normally, measurement has a clear direction from source to sink. So how do we use this chart? The core assumption is that the system behaves always deterministically and there is always a reason for scrap, breakdowns or failures. Let's look on the first two steps. Leading question for the first step is, where do I look, what am I going for and where is the best position for a sensor? Since you will always have different options for sensor position, this is an important decision to make by means of the signal quality. Use the method of pairing comparison for estimation or result. One important point, you might consider that cost and robustness are other important inputs for the decision. Our clear recommendation is, do not mix this up. Simply make another chart where the caption of the y-axis is robustness or costs. Leading question for the second step is, what do I measure and which technology do I use? You will see this point is strongly connected to the first point. Thus, it will always lead to some iteration. Believe us, this iteration is less a burden, but way more a chance to reconsider location and technology. Always stick to the control questions. What is my goal? What am I planning here? Is this what I'm doing goal leading? What do I have to do to find a more direct way to the goal? The other steps on the measurement chain work the same. Thus, let's shorten this for the first insights. I want to emphasize some points. The best result for a step on the measurement chain is to hold the former quality at 100%. You will never find a process that brings back quality which was lost in the previous step. You will need special knowledge on different parts of the measurement chain. Our strong belief is that you need to bring all needed expertise on experience in order to solve the task properly. As mentioned before, of course quality is only one of at least three dimensions for decision in order to achieve targets. I hope that I could give you some valuable insights. Of course, we can only scratch on the surface in these three minutes. Since we use these pictures actively every day, we will come back with examples if it's fit. Thank you for watching until now. Please give us feedback on YouTube or via email. Within the next video, I want to talk about sensor technology or measurement locations.